In this video, I am going to give you a brief about Google Collab and popularly it is known as Collab but it is actually Google Collaboratory and in short we say Collab for it and you can also write and execute Python in your browser with zero configuration required and free access to GPU and easy sharing also. You can share a copy with the help of your drive also. So what you need to do firstly after searching Google Collab in your search and then you have to click here in the file and then you have to open a new notebook. So it will generate you an environment where you can write your code and execute that particular cell. So like here you can see that it has opened a format for me where here I can write the code actually. For example, if I want to print something, then I can write here that print 23. And this is how exactly I execute this particular cell. And here you can see that it shows me that it has printed whatever the values are there. So similarly, we're going to write some sorts of code here. You can actually click on this run sign also for this running the cell or you can just press shift enter. So this is how it is done. From here, you can actually rename your file also that if you want to name it any assets, for example, I want to name it as file one. So it is saved like that. And you can easily share it also with your colleagues or with your other friends whom you are being discussing about that what code you're writing or some sort of things. Also, you can upload for this particular session of collab also from the files which are there in your system for if you're using it here. It can be a CSV file also, it can be a picture. So you have to do nothing, you have to just click here for uploading in the session and then it will actually open all the documents which you have and from there you can actually upload if you want to upload any particular file. Also, you can insert a text here also that if you want to insert in text field that what are you doing it. So here simply you can write here that you're executing a print statement. So you can write like that also that you're executing a print statement like this. So you can know that which particular code you're writing and what sort of things are happening in that also. You can do it right here also. And there are several other things that is edit, view, insert and runtime you can save and save it also. So it doesn't take any process of installation. So that's why we do most of our code in Google Collab and it is quite simple to use also. You can share it also. And there are many imports libraries which are already there. You can just access from here. And you can also read about some things such as data science, machine learning. It has its own self documentation also that it has written about certain things so you can study it from here also so it is a quite beneficial platform for assessing the python code we can say and whether you are a student a data scientist or any researcher collab actually makes your work much easier so that's why we do much of our code in collab and this is just a very basic of collab so there is nothing to a hype of it you can easily assess it and we will be instructing you and guiding you that how can you assess several code files of python in google collab also, if you have written a code file which is here and saved in IPYNB format and if you want to share it to others, not with this particular drive only, you can download this particular file IPNB or you can download the .pi file also and then you can use it for any other source also. You can save a copy to your GitHub also and you can also do the revision history over here. You can rename it. You can upload a notebook here also, IPYNB notebook. You can upload it here and you can open a new notebook also which is there. So there are many usage of this. Google Colab and it is highly efficient also that's why we are using it for coding in Python.